Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert .pyc to .py on Windows. So these are the steps. First, compile the script into a .py file. So you just have to open your command prompt and navigate to the folder where your file is saved. So I have a I have command prompt open here. And this is the uh, directory or location where the uh, .py is uh, located so second step is you know, run the this command here so let me just show you the the dot py file and i have it here as well okay so let me go ahead and and uh, enter this command so compile all is actually part of the standard python library so you don't have to install it so i'm going to go ahead and enter this command so it says done so if I go back here, uh, I see that this folder is created and the .pyc is located, I mean, it's saved in it. So that's how you compile the script or the .py into a .pyc file. So let's proceed with uh, decompiling the .pyc file into .py. So in this case, I'm going to use a tool called uncompiled6 to decompile the .pyc file into uh, .py file. So this one is not part of the standard Python library, so you, you have to install it manually. So let me go ahead and install it. Yeah, so I already installed it, so it says requirement already satisfied. So uh, let me go ahead and issue this command. So I have the folder and then so I'm in that folder and I can issue this command here and the name of the file. So the name of the file is this. So it says, okay, decompiling read uh, cpython-38. So 3.8, this is the version of the Python that I'm using. The script itself is actually here. So compile at, so the date and the time, size of source, and this is the script itself. So you can, you can save this in you know, in a new Python file and run it or read it. And when does compiling happen? So there is actually a couple of scenarios uh, where compiling happens. So one is, I mean, Python automatically compiles the .py file into bytecode or .pyc file and it stores it in this um, on this file or folder but just in case um, it doesn't happen you can actually use this tool here that we used earlier compile all and then number two is uh, python compiles uh, the python file into that pyc if you are importing a module in python so that's another scenario so why does Python compile the byte code? So compiling into byte code improves performance. Instead of interpreting the, com the script line by line, each time Python reads the byte code, uh, which is faster. And portability. .pyc byte code files are platform independent, meaning that they can run in any system with a compatible Python interpreter. Yeah, so that's all I wanna cover in this video. So if you found this useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.